Father Lorenzo, stand up! You are accused by this tribunal of the Holy Inquisition of crimes against both man and God. It is beyond dispute that you murdered Doña Elvira and abducted her daughter. For what perverted purpose this court can only guess. Yet still you deny sorcery? Still you deny that you used witchcraft in the execution of these crimes? I have confessed. To sorcery? No, I cannot. As God is my witness, I've never practiced sorcery. Blasphemy! Bring him back. When he is ready to confess. I'm telling you the truth. I have sinned, but I'm not a liar. No! Mother Agida. In time, we will burn the truth from Father Lorenzo. So, if you compel me, we will burn the truth from you. I only did my duty, Your Worship. But you ignored a papal order revoking the vows of Sister Inez. And held her prisoner against the wishes of the Church. You deny this? Your Worship, she had dishonored our order. I can explain everything. Show me mercy, I beg of you. I'm listening, Mother Agatha. I'm a sinner! I'm a sinner! Never forsaken! I have never forsaken God! Forgive me, oh my God, for all my sins! Above your God, 
He has abandoned you. This Inquisition has no power over you. Follow my example and free yourself. At what price? You are damned already, Lorenzo. We are sinners. We deserve our hell. Do I hasten your fate? You offer a few years for an eternity of agony. I offer escape from the horror of the fire. Now. I will never accept sorcery. My poor fool. They will torture you until you confess anyway. I suffer their torments for nothing. Live. Confess. Tell them what they want to hear. It's not true. I will not. Call up the spirit. Fear nothing, Lorenzo. Take the breviary in your right hand. Open up page 37 and invoke my master's name. Choose Lorenzo. I'm waiting for you. Captain, may I take my breviary? Of course. Captain, please, may I walk alone?
God. When you sin, you despise him. You reject him. And so you deserve to be despised, to be rejected, to be banished for all eternity from the wonderful house of God. And because you have forsaken God and misplaced your love, you deserve to suffer torture and to be condemned to everlasting agony. To a place where there is no order, no joy, no rest, no peace, no satisfaction, no hope. Only everlasting crying, gnashing of teeth, everlasting anguish, cursing and oaths. But God delivers the righteous from all these evils. Those who are reconciled to him and are admitted into his grace need not fear his vengeance. No, he's rough. Oremos. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Are you thinking about the service, Ramon? What? Oh, I'm sorry. The sermon? I thought our preacher's performance exceeded even his reputation. Yes, indeed. He spoke so beautifully. He makes one feel the truth as he speaks it. I have asked the prior if we may have Father Lorenzo as our confessor. Mother, I hope that's wise. What do you mean? Should I confess a sin, I hope he will forgive me. He painted a fearful picture of damnation. You shouldn't joke about such things. I'm sure were Angela to sin, it will be such a small one that even the father would forgive her. <laughs> Some things cannot be forgiven or undone. Nonsense, Ramon. All things can be changed. Please, Doña Elvira, take my arm. Please go to the apothecary and help Father Pablo. Please, Father, I can manage. Come along, do as I say. Yes, Father. The most important thing in life is to serve God as best we can. some flowers for the Virgin. Thank you, Father. Such grace and beauty in this face. What sweetness and majesty there is in these divine eyes. Do you think there could ever be another creature like her? I don't know, Father. Perhaps... She speaks through me. I owe everything to her. I didn't see you at my sermon yesterday. I was there, Father. You've never been more eloquent, except perhaps once. When was that? When the prior was taken ill and you had to preach in his place. That was two years ago. You weren't with the order then. I wish I could have died that day. 
how much pain I would have been spared. Pain? At your age? What are you talking about? I can't tell you, Father. Trust me, you can tell me. Oh, I do trust you, Father. Truly, I'm at peace with you here. But if I told you, you would... You would hate me. What could possibly be so terrible? I dare not. Forgive me, I must go to Vespers. Forgive me, I beg you. Look with pity on the weakness of a poor woman. For the rest of my life, I will atone my sin. And your forgiveness will raise a soul to heaven. It is God, not I, that must forgive you, John. Listen to me for one moment. I beg of you, Father. Then you can judge me as you will. Before I took the veil, Ramon and I shared a love that was pure and honorable. We were to be married. But his parents wanted a better match for him. They conspired to separate us. I was forced to join the convent and to live a life for which I have no vocation. When Ramon discovered the truth, he came after me. We met again in the gardens of Santa Clara. And in a moment of confusion, I broke my vow of chastity. Pity me. Do for you have sinned against God and lost his love. Father, please, think of the innocent child. Let me go to Ramon. I can absolve the sin, but not the sinner. You must repent, and the sin must be punished. Oh, show mercy. Let me go. Enough of this. Mother, I get up. You are cruel. Thank you. You'll break my heart. Please. When you turn to God for mercy, he will be deaf to your pleas, as you have been deaf to mine. Mother, I leave it in your hands. Sister Inez, the rules of our order are very strict, and it's been a long time since I've had to enforce them. Take her away. We must be sure that this is true. If it is true, we must thank God Father Lorenzo informed us why there's still time to save her soul. Sister, it's all too clear from this letter what Ines has done. Still, she will be examined before we pass judgment.
Enough. Proceed. Be calm, child. Good evening, Juan. Father. Please, sit down. Still troubled by your memories? I've been reading this verse. Oh, I see the prayer of the hermit. So disillusioned by mankind, I've come to end my days in the wilderness. Mm, there's peace and solitude. Happiness even. Man is born a social animal, Juan. Only the cynic becomes a hermit. And it's a lonely kind of happiness that's achieved by flight. You surprise me, Father. What if the circumstances of his life condemned a man to solitude? Would not his religious duties and, and a clear conscience of a, a life well lived allow his heart peace? convinced of the country. You see, here is the perfect balance. This monastery is our refuge from the nonsense of a jabbering world. I'd rather I had never set foot inside these walls. When we last spoke, you said that you'd found peace here. Do you realize if you'd never come here, you would never have met me? Is this what you mean? Why was meeting me so terrible? If you knew, you would despise me. I doubt that very much, but I find a show of emotion beneath you, Juan. You begin to hate me even as I speak. No, I don't, but how can I help you if you won't tell me what's troubling you? Only you can help me, Father. But I'm afraid to speak. Afraid of what? Of whom? Of you. Afraid of me? Don't be ridiculous. You have nothing to fear from me. Then swear to me that whatever my secret is, you will not send me from the monastery. I swear by all I hold sacred. So, tell me. Father, I'm a woman. Don't leave me, Father. Don't abandon me, please. I know your promise to God, and, and I would not lead you from virtue. Just let me be near you, and I will be happy with just your friendship. Oh, listen to me, Father, before you judge me. My name is Matilda de Villanegue. I am an only child, and when my parents died, I inherited their fortune. But I hated the vanities of that life. All its pleasures left me cold. I turned down all offers of marriage. I was in despair. Till one day, by chance, I went to hear mass at the church of Capuchin. You were preaching. Don the armor of the Lord, so that you may gain protection against the onslaught of the devil. For this battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, the feudal powers, the earthly powers of darkness in this century. Your words, your expression, was like being lifted to the very gates of heaven. Your voice filled me with joy. And since that moment, you have been the object of my every thought. 
against the spiritual hordes of evil. And so don the armor of the Lord that you may offer resistance upon the evil day of temptation. I learned everything I could about you. It was said you were wise and pious, and above all, selfless. These virtues only served to strengthen the chains with which your words had already bound me. to the church every day hoping to hear you but you would return to the monastery and I left each time more miserable and disappointed only in night I found comfort in my dreams you came to me in my dreams we were one Father, I could not live without you. I gave up my home, my friends, my wealth. And disguised as a novice, I entered the order to be near you. At first, I was content. Now I live in fear of being discovered. I cannot deceive you any longer. Condemn me to despair again. Let me go on seeing you, adoring you. This is madness. Forget that I'm a woman. Think of me as a friend whose life depends on your protection. You must leave immediately. There is no choice for your own sake. You must leave before tomorrow. How can you be so cruel? Women are not allowed to stay here. You know that. I would be breaking an oath to her. This is impossible. I have nothing more to say. Wait, Lorenzo. I have something more to say. You've heard my decision. I'll pray for you. I will not leave these walls alive. Stop! What are you doing? You have made your decision. And I have made mine. The moment you leave, I will sink this knife into my heart. Are you mad? You'll condemn your soul to hell. How little that means to me now. Either your hand will lead me to heaven, or my own will lead me straight to hell. Stop! Stay. Stay in my ruin. Are you quite certain she is guilty? The letter, the testimony of Father Lorenzo, the physical examination by Sister Camilla, leave us with no room for doubt. Then we must notify the church authorities. Perhaps they will be lenient for the sake of the child. For the sake of the child? I would prefer to deal with this ourselves. Sister Ursula, the church would hand Inez over to the Inquisition. By keeping Inez here, at least we can be sure the child is safe. When it's born, it can be sent to the orphanage at Santa Rosalia. Mother Agueda, we cannot condemn Inez ourselves. We do not have the right. She must be allowed to speak in her own defense. Defense? What defense? None of us disputes her guilt. Would you really subject her to the Inquisition? 
The rules of the church are clear and we must obey them. It is for them to judge Inez, not us. Sister Ursula, let us show mercy. Is it not better for Inez to spend the rest of her life in a punishment cell, atoning for her sin, than to burn in hell for all eternity? I'm as concerned for her soul as for her physical well-being. I suspect the soul of Inez is in little danger. In spite of her transgressions, if none of you have anything further to say, let us vote on whether Innes be imprisoned or handed over to the church. Very well. Those for imprisonment, raise their hand. Thank you, sisters. Sister Ines will be placed in solitude. There she may contemplate her sins. You are to take off your habit and put this on. Sister Mariana, did they show me no mercy? What of my child? Sister Inez, you must leave all your belongings here. Forgive me. Pray to him that he may do so. You have time to repent now. I implore you. I'm not thinking of myself. I'm thinking of my son. When the time comes, your child will be taken care of. What? Come. We will leave her now. You have no right to do this to me. You're not punishing me for what I've done. You are punishing me for not giving in to your foul desires. Hold your tongue, you whore. I love Ramon. Get her off me. So many times you try to come to my bed. Everything belongs to you because everything helps you towards your salvation. If all this be true, and God has given us so much, then how is it possible that we offend such a wondrous benefactor? young man found himself so captivated and powerless not to offend him who had given him everything. How is it that you have the strength to offend he who has put heaven and earth in your hands? If you do not feel this wrong, then your heart must be as ungrateful and unyielding as the most brutish of animals. I can't look on you 
was before. I won't leave you. Please. Please. I fear my soul is in mortal danger. Do you understand? You are a temptation to me. I cannot stop thinking about you. You torment me. I only want to make you happy. And leave. Release me from my promise. I can't stay here with you. If you refuse to leave, then I must leave myself. And flee into the wilderness like a hermit. God sent me to you. I gave up everything to be your disciple. Please wait, wait. I want you to have a token of my affection, of my love. Do you love me? And then the rose is a snake. as I feared. You can see the poison. It confirms the worst. I'm afraid there is very little we can do. But there must be a cure, Father. There must. All we can do is to put herbs on the wound to reduce the pain. And we can pray, my son. Only Lorenzo himself can fight against the poison of the snake. Juan, will you sit with him till the morning? Yes, I will. Thank you, my son. Now he needs to rest. Come now. I'll be back soon with the herbs. He's much better, Father. I would say that this has been one. He is out of danger. With a couple more days of rest, he'll be as good as new. Juan, you must go and get some rest now. I'm not tired, Father. I can still look after him. You will do as you are told. My name is Romando Medina. I've already explained to the sister here that I need to speak to the Portuguese nun, Sister Ines. And I'm a friend of her family. Wait. Good morning, sister. Good morning. And thanks God for his mercy, Novice Juan. Thank you. Please take the cake for Father Lorenzo.
and tell him that all the sisters are praying for his recovery. Thank you, I'll tell him. Sister Inez has not been well for some days now. She felt ill on Thursday night and has been in bed ever since. In that case, could I not visit her in her cell? Don Ramon, how could you say such a thing? Come another day. By then, Sister Inez will be better and could perhaps come to the visiting room to see you. Good evening, Father. How is he? He's much better. But you look exhausted. Don't worry about going to Vespers, my son. I'll see you later. thought you would die. While I was ill, I prayed even more to my blessed virgin. Perhaps it was the fever, but I kept seeing your face. Who are you? You're the living image of her. In me, you have the original of your beloved virgin. I sent it to you. I loved you so much. I knew I could never have you. So I wanted to send you some part of myself instead. God. Imagine my happiness when I saw her in your room. I believe God sent the snake to punish me. Oh, please, Lorenzo. <sighs> For our remaining hours, be happy one. Father Lorenzo, Father Lorenzo, I've been looking for you all afternoon. Juan is very ill. Come on, Juan is very ill. Well, come on. Father Pablo says it's poison. Father Pablo was with you? Since last night. Take this, Juan. Don't worry, Father. I'm beyond the help of science. Father, I'd like to confess with Father. 
Father Lorenzo. Let us leave. Taken poison? Only from your veins, Lorenzo. What do you mean? When I was alone with you, I sucked the poison from you with my own lips. You died to save me? When you didn't come this afternoon, I thought you'd abandon me. I'd never see you again. How could you think that I would leave you? Live, Matilda, live for me. I love you. It's impossible. You don't know what you're saying. Love at your command. Oh, my senses are filled with you. It's nearly dawn. You must go, lest we discover it. No. No, I don't want to leave. We must take care. I want you. I want you forever. I would pay dearly to possess you. Keys to the cemetery. The nun cemetery? I can get them. Why do you need them? Do you want me to live? I don't understand. There is a way we can be together. We must go to the cemetery. There's somebody coming. Let her scream. My mind's made up. Ramon Dardina is getting persistent. 
important and we can't risk his finding her. Ines will remain in the crypt. I agree, but some of the others are becoming very unhappy about it, especially Sister Ursula. They're saying Ines should be taken back to her cell. Let them. Ines will be used as an example for those who would break our rules. Nevertheless, Agatha, from now on we must be very careful. What's wrong? They've locked her down there. I never imagined. Tomorrow I shall speak to Mother Agatha. Why stir up something that might arouse suspicion? Wait here. Don't move until I get back. Let's go back. It's done. Nothing can harm us now. We don't need to be afraid anymore. Oh, Lorenzo, we can be together forever. Matilda, Matilda, what have you done? Explain yourself. Nothing but to love you. Now I'm recovered, I just wanted to thank you in person for the devotion shown me during my illness. Devotion which has turned to happiness, Father. Now that you are restored to health and, and heaven heard our prayers. The prayers, both the prayers and the cake, the best medicine I could have had. <sighs> Mother Agatha. Father Lorenzo. I wanted to know what has happened to Sister Inez. Sister Ines has been subjected to the punishment dictated by the Council of the Convent. May I see her? I... Do not insist, Father. It's against the rules of our community. But, Mother, I mean, as a priest, I would like to visit her. I, I could help her repent. As you know, the Council meets every month. I will put forward your request. Meanwhile, all you can do is pray for her. Good morning, Father Lorenzo. May I be of help, my son? I'm sorry, Father. I didn't mean to disturb you. Not at all. God is not forthcoming with answers for me today. Sometimes God and his servants are the cause of our trouble. No offense to you, Father. Nevertheless, perhaps I can offer some comfort. I doubt it. In your eyes, I have sinned. Please tell me your sins, and I shall ask God to forgive you. To me, what I have done is not a sin, so how can I repent? I'm beyond your comfort, Father. My name is Ramon de Medina. My crime is to love a woman who loves me. She carries my child. Please go on. Our parents were against our love, and she was sent away from home. But I followed her. Now she has been taken from me again. Do you know where she is now? No, I don't. I love her, Father. Without her, the world is dull and cold. 
I make no apology to you. I love her with my heart and soul and with my body. And if that is a sin, then punish me. If you love her as you say in this way, then trust in the Lord, all will be well. If I wait for God, it will be too late. Thank you for your time, Father. You've been more helpful than you realize. You wish to see me, Reverend Father? Yes, Father Lorenzo. There's a woman in town who is very ill. She needs to see a confessor. As you wish. I know this is not usual, but the woman and her late husband have done much for the community at Santa Clara, and we must not appear to be inflexible. I'll go at once. Thank you, Father. You will find her at this address. Senorita Angela will attend you. Thank you. But it is you, Father Lorenzo. My mother will be so happy. We sent our maid, Jacinta, to the monastery to ask for a confessor. But we never imagined that it would be you. But come in, please come in. I'll be waiting here if you should need me. God bless you, Father Lorenzo. Your words are a great comfort to me. But you are still troubled, Don Yalvina. Be assured, God is merciful. You have nothing to fear. Not for myself, I know. But my daughter Angela, if anything were to happen to me, there's no one to whom I can entrust her. You're worrying needlessly. But if it reassures you, I promise I will take care of her. The Order has many patrons. I'm sure we can find a guardian amongst them. Thank you, Father Lorenzo. Angela's still just a child. And I... When I come tomorrow, I'm sure I'll find you better. God be with you, Olivia. God bless you, Father Lorenzo. How is she, Father? Please tell me the truth. Be calm. She will be well. Have faith in God and trust in his mercy. Angela. Yes, Father. Angela. No other name could suit you better. Your face is as pure as an angel's. Can I do anything more to help my mother? I will arrange for Father Pablo to see her. I believe with God's help he can cure her. Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, Father.
Mama, Mama. You look better already. He is a saint. I'm sure that with his help, you'll soon be well. Come here. Let me hold you. Now you must sleep. You need rest. Yes, my baby. I shall rest. I shall be obedient and so get better. Now, will you close the curtains? If I don't wake up before midnight, don't sit up all night. It's not necessary. Hacinta and I will stay here in turn. You said you'd be obedient, so not another word. <laughs> Sister Inez. It's Father Lorenzo, can you hear me? I'm here, Father Lorenzo. In here. You remember me? Have you come to release me? I wish it was in my power. But I shall speak to Mother Agatha on your behalf. Thank you, Father. Why have you come? Yes, I shall talk to her. I shall convince her. She'll, she'll let you go. She'll lessen your sentence. If not, I shall speak to the prior, I promise. Why are you doing this for me? Look, I brought you some food. I'll help you. This punishment is too cruel. Sister Inez, forgive me. I have sinned. Please. Mother Agatha has asked me to tell you that Sister Innes is worse and that the doctor has prescribed absolute rest. I wish to see the abbess. You're not going to tell me that she's ill too, are you? The abbess has told me to tell you that she cannot receive you today. She is busy with matters of the community. I didn't want to do this until I'd seen Innes. But you tell the superior that I have a papal dispensation releasing Sister Innes from her vows. Do you understand what that means, sister? She is a free woman. You have no control over her. Now, please tell the Mother Superior that if she will not receive me immediately, I shall go straight to the bishop. This dispensation I would like to obey it, but I'm afraid it's not possible. I've tried to break the sad news gently. What news? Tell me. Senor de Medina, Sister Ines died a week ago. Do you expect me to believe that? Three times I've come here, and each time I've been told a different story. You are bound by your order, Mother. Don't lie to me! I am amazed that you can doubt my word. But as you insist, Sister Ines lost her child before time. And in spite of our efforts and prayers, she died. It's not true. 
tell me it's not true. The child was yours. Mother, swear by almighty God that what you say isn't true. Senor de Medina, I think you said enough. Please, leave us to our grief. Ines! Ines, are you there? Ines! a dispensation from the Pope. Inez. Sister, tell him I'm well. Tell him that day and night, I pray that I will see him again. I promise I will tell him. Don't despair, Inez. I will find a way to help you. Now you've been indifferent to me. Have I done something wrong? It's not you, it's me. I thought that you were everything I wanted. I truly thought that I loved you. But whatever I felt for you is gone. If it ever existed. And in its place, a feeling of emptiness, something lost. What? What have you lost that I haven't? Why should I have to suffer for your guilty conscience? You have destroyed my peace forever. I have. I renounced the world for you. I asked you to do that. But you didn't seem to mind a few days ago. I think you're better now. And I don't think you need me anymore. But I feel we've become such good friends. So I promise I'll visit you whenever I can. I'm so grateful to you, Father Lorenzo. I don't know what I would have done without your help. I'll call on you soon, dear lady. Thank you, Father Lorenzo. Please. I admire so much your daughterly love, Angela. The way you take care of your mother, day after day, better than any nurse. Don't think I don't notice. She's my mother. With the heart so tender for a mother, how will you be with a lover? Tell me. Do you know the meaning of love? Yes, I love many people. No, 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 no. Have you ever seen a man and wanted to make love to him? Angela, you do love. You are in love and you don't want to tell me. But Father, why should I wish to hide it? Have you never met a man that you desired from the moment that you first saw him? Whose very voice penetrates deep into your most intimate soul. Uh, yes. Uh, no. I mean a voice. Your voice. I felt that when I first heard you.
Yes. I haven't seen you for two days. Why do you come to me here? Are you insane? Do you want us to be discovered? Look at yourself. Don't reproach me for loving you. Treat me this way. I'd do anything for you. I love you. You're my life. Please leave. <laughs> I shall come to you later. Now, please leave. Forgive me, Lorenzo. Into the souls of the righteous enters the Holy Spirit and all of the Holy Trinity expelling all infernal monsters and making of the soul its temple and its home. As the Savior himself told us, if you love me, you will keep my commandments and my Father will love you. And we shall be together at his side. And thus the Almighty Father looks on the just with loving eyes because he sees them as a living part of his only son, united with him and with his spirit. When we see someone do something charitable, we know that they do it for love. Likewise, those who help the poor in God's name serve not only the poor, but also God. Give then your love to God and all his creatures. Ursula is not to be trusted. She's an old woman, Agatha. She should be controllable. Today she came to me again, insisting that the papal order be taken to the authorities. She had no idea what would happen if the Inquisition were involved. Oh, I know, Agatha, I know. They would burn Ines. I know they would. And then we'd all be under suspicion. When that boy threatened me with those papers, waving them under my nose, sure of his triumph, I don't know what came over me. I had to stop him. Ines, we're really dead. Then we'd be safe. I'm frightened, Mariana. From now on, we will watch Sister Ursula very carefully. Yes. Angela is absolutely right. You must stay in bed until you've recovered completely. I know you like to read, so I brought you this book. We cannot repay you for everything you've done for us, Father. You've filled this house with happiness and with hope. We can only repay what we owe. You owe me nothing. I was only doing my duty. Although, to me, it's been more than that. It's been a pleasure to meet you and your lovely daughter. Where is she? I must say goodbye to her. She's embroidering in her room. So, you must leave already, Father. My mother is much better, isn't she? Yes, she's well, she's well. She's stupendously well, you see. My child, we must never, ever lose faith. You remember our last conversation? Yes, Father Lorenzo. We spoke about love. Not just filial love, all kinds of love. You remember my last sermon? Yes, I do. You spoke in a new language. I spoke about love, Angela. Love is the greatest force humanity possesses. Tell me, did you feel something during the sermon? Uh, I felt a great emotion deep inside me. How was this possible? 
Is it possible these eyes look upon me with love? This skin trembles for me. This heart beats a little quicker for me. Yes, it's true. Oh, Angela, this is love. Tell me again you love me. Apart from my mother, I love no one more than you. Father! Father Lorenzo! Let me go! Father Lorenzo, you have not gone yet. Doña Elvira, I was about to. Angela, didn't you hear me calling you? I wanted some fresh water. Madam, forgive me. I must leave. Goodbye. Father, we abuse your kindness in robbing you of further time. Seeing I'm so much better now, I beg you, do not come again. your own good. You can no longer think of anything but that girl. How do you know that? I know every bit of your madness. It's impossible to suppress such feelings. And because I understand you so well, I'm prepared to let you go. I know we can no longer be lovers. But I'll never give up on your friendship. Oh, my children. You amaze me. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. You're in love with Angela Delpha. And you're miserable because you can't have her, yes? Yes. With my help, you can have anything your heart desires. She doesn't love me. It's impossible. I wanted you, Lorenzo. But I had to fight for you. It was I who had to fight. I had to struggle with my own conscience. You know the truth. Though you choose not to admit it. Name the power which seduced you, and you name the spirit which is yours to command. He will give Angela to you. Amen. I did all this for you. Whatever I have done, I have never forsaken God. Never. I won't. There's no need to fear the spirits. They serve us. No! No, no. You need only witness what I do, and Angela will be yours. Come with me to the crypt tonight. No, I will never forsake God. It's too late. You've already lost heaven. You don't refuse me through virtue. You reject me through fear of punishment. Hypocrite. It is right to look on sin with horror. I will invoke the spirit alone. I alone will be the author of what you believe to be a sin. Your desire for Angela will be fulfilled. Remember God has promised to receive the sinner more joyfully into heaven than the righteous. There will always be time to repent. Do what you will with me. I will go with you.
sister, would you go to the kitchen and see if there's any more soup? Yes, sister. What is your name? Lucas, mother. Lucas. And are you a clever boy, Lucas? Yes, mother. Do you know a gentleman named Ramon de Medina? No, mother. Do you think you could find him? Of course. Find him, then, and give him this. He'll give you a good meal for your trouble. But wait, Lucas. No one is to know of this. You are to give it to Ramon de Medina only to him, understand? Trust me. I'm sorry, my child, but we must feed everyone. Sister Ursula, I'm afraid this is all the soup that's left. Thank you, sister. alive. Will you come with me now? To the nunnery? Of course. No, we must first go to the Cardinal Duke at Toledo. He is a friend of the family. Why? It's a day's ride. He will believe me, Antonio. No one else would. We need authority from the church if we are to confront Mother Agatha. That witch. I pray this letter is true.
night, Asinta. Good night, Miss Angela. Father Lorenzo. Daniela Vera, I swear I didn't touch her. Her honor is intact. Does it expose you? The whole church will know what kind of a monster you are. Stay away from my daughter. Hazinda! Please, please, please forgive me. Hazinda! Please! For the love of God, calm yourself. Please let Hazinda, me. Hazinda, help! You are just going to breathe up in the legions of it! Please, please, I can explain! <laughs> She will be unable to resist. While she's in this state, you will be able to satisfy your passion. Jacinta will lead you to the house. What can I do, Matilda? Weak and a coward. Be thankful that your problems are also mine. Listen, this very minute you must go to Father Pablo's laboratory. Fill a small flask with a special drug which makes those who drink it appear dead. After an hour of violent convulsions, the heart stops beating and the blood ceases to flow. Sintra and I will arrange Elvira's body on Angela's bed and give them both the drug. In the morning, Sintra will convince everyone that Elvira's illness has worsened and unable to face leaving Angela alone in the world. 
she committed suicide after poisoning her daughter. That's it. Hurry up, it'll be morning soon. Wait! Are you certain she'll wake? You make sure that they're buried in the cemetery at Santa Clara. In 48 hours, Angela will regain consciousness. And then, my dear Lorenzo, she'll be entirely at your mercy. The Mother Superior has much to answer for, gentlemen. Come back in two days, and I'll put a troop at your disposal. Your Lordship, we have lost precious days in Toledo because of the Cardinal's illness, and under gentlemen, the... Gentlemen, these things must be handled properly, so there are no mistakes. I need the Archbishop's signature on the warrant. You are asking me to search a convent. Come back tomorrow night and everything will be ready. to hell but first you'll be mine don't think your innocence or your grief can save you from me I've nothing left to lose who is there I'm captain Romero de Mello in the service of the Holy Inquisition I order you to open the door Come in, Captain. I was expecting you. What is the meaning of this? 
I arrest you on the orders of the Holy Inquisition. May I know what crime I'm accused of? At the right time and the right place, you will know. Sisters Mariana and Camilla must accompany us too. The script will be our temple of love, Angela. from the Inquisition to free Ines. We can wait for them to leave. The only problem is her. What do you do? If she screams, we're lost. I won't let you kill her. You see what you've done to me. I wish I'd never met you, you devil's whore! Are you mad? Do you want them to find us? Is she not to die? The mother. 
another superior was sentenced to life. No, no, I don't mean the superior. I mean my novice Juan. He was acquitted. Having considered the charges brought against Father Lorenzo Rojas of the Capuchin Order, and having examined his statements and confessions sworn according to the law, along with the testimony of other witnesses taken during this trial, it is the unanimous judgment of this holy tribunal that the aforesaid prisoner has denied God and the Holy Trinity who made the world and everything in it. And furthermore, that he has worshipped the devil, the evil one, who is forever the enemy of mankind. He has sworn allegiance to Lucifer forever, renouncing his own sainted baptism and the eternal life that our Lord Jesus Christ won for all men with his death. Possessed by evil, he murdered Doña Elvira Dalfa. Most horrible of all, he kept in his sinner's mouth the holy sacrament of the Eucharist, thus dishonoring the one God and glorifying the triumph of the kingdom of the devil. Therefore, as Inquisitor General and Defender of the Holy Faith in the jurisdiction of Madrid, I order that this sentence be recorded. The prisoner is condemned to death by fire. Fear nothing, Lorenzo. Take the breviary in your right hand. Open up page 37 and invoke my master's name. And deny the order. May his death serve as an example and warning to others. In Madrid, this 14th day of October, in the year of our Lord, 1767. My God. My God. Forgive me.